कंग्रेचुलेशन शिवानी यू हैव रियली प्रूव्ड योरसेल्फ एंड वी आर प्लीज टू ऑफर यू दिस पोजीशन थैंक यू सर इट्स अ ग्रेट ऑनर बट आई मस्ट टेल यू दैट द कंपनीज प्राइमरी ऑपरेशंस विल डिपेंड ऑन यू इट्स अ पोजीशन ऑफ वेरी हाई रिस्पांसिबिलिटी एंड कमिटमेंट बट आई नो यू आर द राइट चॉइस कम बैक व्हाई दिस इज व्हाट आई वाज वेटिंग फॉर डिडंट यू हियर व्हाट ही सेड व्हाट a position of high responsibility and commitment so i've always been responsible and committed then why did he stress on it do you know what it indicates what your personal life will be ruined you'll hardly find time for yourself don't try to demotivate me i'm convinced and you'll always have to sacrifice some part of your leisure time if you have ambitions you're a lady you have a family they need you so i'll leave this opportunity I spent my whole life in the kitchen being a housewife. I didn't say so. Then ask him what the expectations are. Be clear of what they expect from you. So, just out of curiosity, may I ask what kind of responsibility am I expected to take? I mean, it's just for me to prepare myself for my work. Yeah, sure. Don't hesitate to ask. Look, you will be the point of contact for all business deals. So you will have to be prompt with your response. You have to make sure that you are responding to every client on time. And it's even more important for prospective clients, you know. Yes, sir. I understand. See, I told you. This is obvious. They won't pay me just like that. Think practically. Suppose your baby is crying and there's no one to attend the baby. There are guests in the house to whom you need to serve dinner. And suddenly there's an urgent official meeting. What would you do? Leave everything and sit with your laptop. What do you mean? If others can, why can't I? You are a lady. You have to take care of the family. Everyone around you expects your time. These professional commitments can be taken care by a male employee, but not by a mother who needs to feed her little son or by a wife who needs to address her husband's ill temper. Don't you dare talk of his ill temper. Why should I sacrifice? I am also working just like him. Why should I sacrifice? Why? Ask yourself why. You know you'll have to sacrifice. Be practical. So I should leave everything and sit at home and wait for my husband to come and shout at me. and i'll get the coffee and snacks and calm him down isn't it that's what you mean no but be careful of what you commit i will now just shut up think before you act yes sir i'll make sure that i respond to all communication that comes my way yep i know you will also in case there's something urgent uh, we might need you to travel it will be mostly planned uh, but sometimes it can be on a one day notice so you will have to adapt to that Come back to your senses. What are you thinking? No, I can't miss this opportunity. I might never get such an opportunity again. Are you crazy? You're a mother. You are a wife. You have to take care of your family. If my husband can go on official tours, why can't I? Same stupid question. When the baby cries, your husband still sits on the easy chair with the newspaper. It's you who would rush to your baby. When the bed sheet needs to be changed, you would be the one doing it. When someone in the house falls sick, you will be the one serving the right medicines on time. When there's any loose connection, you will have to call the electrician or push your husband a hundred times to get it done. Can you imagine how it would be like if you are out? Listen, if it's on a regular basis, then it's a problem. Let me ask. You'll suffer big time. Sir, please don't mind me asking this. I have a baby at home, you know. Can you please tell me how often I need to travel? If it's on a regular basis, then it might be difficult. No, no, don't worry. I don't think it will be more than two to three days a month. Uh, but then you never know. I'm sure you will manage, wouldn't you? Yes, sir. Two or three days a month should be fine. So we need you to sign an agreement. Here are the papers. Don't sign. Why? It's not regular. You just heard. You land up in trouble. I'm warning you. This is not possible. This is what I want to be. You can't deny me of my success. I'm not questioning your credibility. You have every quality to be successful. But circumstances are such that you need to understand the reality. 2 to 3 days a month. I will manage it. What will happen? He'll shout over it. But how long? Once, twice, thrice, then we all will be habituated. You need to be strong and things will change. We are the masters of our own fate. Remember Cassius's dialogue? The fault dear Brutus is not in our stars, but in ourselves that we are underlings. Shakespeare. He often considered women as the weaker sex. And it's not about literature. It's about reality, harsh reality. Don't you understand the problems? Okay, fine. You'll go on official tours. Who would accompany you? Tell me. What about your safety? I'm sure there would be someone. Let me ask. 
इट्स नीडलेस आई टेल यू सर इन केस ऑफ ऑफिशियल टूर्स हु वुड अकम्पनी मी गुड क्वेश्चन डिपेंड्स मे बी संजय विशाल और मे बी माई सेल्फ ओके वाई कम ऑन यू आर अ स्मार्ट मॉडर्न लेडी आई गेस योर हजबेंड वोट माइंड यू विल बी द फर्स्ट लेडी टू बी प्लेस एट सच अ पोजिशन इन आर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इट्स अ वेरी बिग ऑनर एंड आई एम श्योर योर हजबेंड टू वुड अंडरस्टैंड येस सर ही इज फाइन विद इट फाइन विद वॉट ऑफिशियल टूर विद मेल कलीग्स आई यू आउट ऑफ योर माइंड इट्स फॉर सेफ्टी सेफ्टी हाउ आर यू श्योर दे वोट टेक इन योर एडवांटेज यू नो विशाल वेरी वेल ही इज अ बिग टाइम क्लर्ट एंड यू थिंक योर हजबेंड विल अलाउ दिस नो मिडिल क्लास हजबेंड विल अलाउ You belong to a middle class family. You can't be so desperate. I'm confused. What do I do then? Be what you are. Don't be so ambitious. Go to office at 10 and come back by 6. That's the best job. You must not forget your family commitments. What is my fault tell me? Why do I have to sacrifice all the time? Because you're a woman. You're driving me the wrong way. I cannot let this opportunity go. This is 21st century. Male and female are equals. There's no difference, really. Then why are you so cautious all the time? Why can't you move freely inside a crowded bus? Why are you afraid to walk on the streets after nine? Why do you move to the opposite footpath when you see some guys gossiping on the streets? Why do you pretend to talk over the cell phone when someone stares at you? Why do you feel so scared and harassed when any stranger looks at you from any direction? Why? Because you're a woman. Equality sounds good when spoken. It looks good on paper. but the reality is different shivani sign the paper we have evolved a lot but we are still not equals i won't say we are the weaker sex but we are definitely more vulnerable our society doesn't allow us to be as free as the other sex we are still considered the homemakers the wives and the mothers all our wishes and ambitions come later if there's anyone in the family who needs to make a sacrifice Know it for sure. It would be you. I'm afraid of what? Of myself, as I see in my dreams. Come back to reality. Women are born to fulfill others' dreams at the cost of their own. That's what has happened for ages, and that's what we face even today. How will the tomorrow be? Today is theirs. Tomorrow will be ours. As we move closer towards tomorrow as we move farther away from the past where are you lady hiding your face there are identities within an identity and it's all you only you just you come out of your shell the world hasn't changed yet but it's about to fears are embedded deep in your heart I won't say it's all without reason but time will change the world and change the way you feel as we move closer towards tomorrow as we move farther away from the past where are you lady hiding your face tomorrow is yours paint your wings with the colors of this world It's a long flight over the ages over the past over prejudice and then you see a door and a ray of light and it's neither sun nor anything solar Lady it's the glory of your sacrifice 
Lady, it's the beauty of your soul. Lady, this world is yours. I know it's too early to console. Tomorrow is yours. Spread your arms like never before to cherish the long flight much like the migratory birds from the ages of claustrophobic nightmare. Lady, it's the glory of your sacrifice. Lady, it's the beauty of your soul. Lady, the shackles are broken and the fears have faded away.